In this lesson, we are going to understand what is interactive reverse and we are going to perform interactive reverse using Eclipse. Git allows to adjust the local commit history via the interactive reverse functionality. It is mainly used to quickly edit a series of local commits. Eclipse provides support for simplified version of this as well as support for full interactive reverse operations. We will come to know when we are going to do this practically using Eclipse. Simple interactive reverse operations available via the history view in Eclipse actually. Performing a full interactive reverse via the history view is also possible. This also applies to Eclipse. Warning, do not rewrite commits that you have already published to a remote repository. It is considered as a bad practice in general. Now following are the interactive reverse actions. Pick, it includes the selected commit. Moving pick entries enables a reordering of commits. So, by default, whenever we do interactive reverse, there would be a series of commits, and by default, the action that is selected is pick, and we can uh, reorder uh, the elements. The we can uh, reorder the commits. Skip removes a commit. If I want to skip a commit, I don't want to include. We can select skip. Edit, uh, as the name suggests, it allows to amend the commit. Squash. Squash basically combines the changes of the commit with the previous commit and combines their commit message. Fix up. This is one level above squash actually. What it does? Squashes the changes of a commit into the previous commit, discarding the squashed commit's message. Now, a reward is uh, similar to pick but it allows modifying the commit message. That's it. So, these are the actions. Now, let's perform these actions using Eclipse. Now here I am at my Eclipse workspace and I have a local repository. I have made multiple local commits to explain this interactive reverse. I have made multiple changes in this files and made local commits and in the history view you can see all these local commits. So if I see here, this was in the remote repository, but after that change one, change two, change four, change five, change six, whatever, these are all local commits. Let me first show you the simple interactive reverse operations, how we can do. Say for example, this particular commit change four, I want to change it. I can right click this and I can select over here modify. It allows me to either reward the commit or edit the commit. That is one way. Suppose I want to squash these two commits, maybe this one and this one. If I do a right click and if I click modify, it gives me the option to squash them. Apart from two commits, it could be multiple commits as well. I can right click on top of them. If I go to modify, you can see squash option is there. Now, how to do the full interactive reverse? For that, what we need to do, say I want to edit a series of comments, maybe from this one to this change one, maybe from change six to change one. For that, what I need to do, I need to select a commit prior to change one and do a right click. Here, we have this option, Rebase Interactive. Let's click that. So what happens, this is the window that is for interactive rebase plan. Once this rebase interactive plan is opened, here we can plan how we can interactively rebase all these commits. By default, whatever commits are there, the action is picked and we can reorder them. Say for example, I can move this particular change one commit to lower or maybe I can change this change five commit to higher. So reordering is possible. We can do that. So let me move this change five commit one level up fine now we can select individual commits and perform whatever actions we want say change two i don't want i can i can simply press skip for it one important thing is if you hover over this button say for pick or skip or whatever it provides you the tool tips so you can understand which option does what so i am clicking on this particular skip you can see the action is changed to skip Suppose I want to squash change 4, so let me select squash. Maybe I want to reward this change 6, so I can select a reward. Maybe I want to amend this particular commit, change 1. I can select edit. And what else? 
I think we have covered most of them. Maybe fix something. Yeah, that is remaining. Maybe change 5. We can select fix. Yeah. So I think we have covered most of them. Now we have done the planning. It's time to execute. So if we click this start button, let me maximize this uh, rebase interactive plan. Yeah. So we have the start button and if we start this plan will start getting executed and Eclipse will ask us for the inputs needed. Say for example, we have provided edit, what we need to edit or reward, what message would be changed. So those inputs we need to provide. So when we start this particular activity, it will ask for different inputs. Now, during this activity, interactive reverse activity, if we think that, okay, we don't want any of this, we can click about at that point of time and no change will be done. So let me start, click on start. Now, the first one that it took is edit commit. So I have this particular commit and depending on that whatever i want to do it is allowing me to do so the first thing that it asks for like whatever change i want it could be a change in the message or it could be change in the files so i can just change the message i can change some files as well and add over here say in main.java i add something maybe just one enter and control s and add it to stage and maybe commit fine so now continue next i think comes the squash click on ok so next comes the edit message made some changes over here click ok so the entire rebase finished successfully if i click ok and if i go to the history what we can see is that we have made some squash, we have skipped some of them, we have edited some comments. So this commit history is changed, which is the actual purpose of using interactive reviews. So in this lesson, what we have done, we have understood and learned what is interactive reviews and how this could be done using Eclipse in simple steps.